it's a good start to become really aware of the screen of the movie to not get swept away by the drama of the movie it's like oh wow it's a movie there is the screen that i am consciousness awareness But with deeper understanding, we see, oh, wow, there, there is no movie and the screen. The screen and the movie are one. And it's a, paradoxically maybe, but it's a very different experience as consciousness through the avatar to knowingly experience the world as also being the screen than just resting peacefully as the screen, so to speak what I call sometimes the non-dual state, which is wonderful. But we have that non-dual state. We had that already before we agreed to this avatar experience. And we'll have it after this avatar experience guaranteed. That's why there is nothing we can really do wrong here we will, there's nothing to win and nothing to lose but while we are enjoying this avatar experience in this a bit crazy world sometimes now a very unique gift is waiting for us so to speak with the avatar in our humanness to live as consciousness with an avatar in the world It's really, really great stuff, so to speak, to have that gift, that opportunity. It just doesn't seem like that when we are confronted with all of that. Suffering that may brought us to the past. So this spiritual bypassing is very understandable. But luckily, those of us who actually live up to what we're sharing here, experience exactly that, that this capacity, this openness, the willingness also to, to meet all of that, which is apparently separate consciously. This capacity is growing, not only the, the peace and the love from the understanding is growing, but also the capacity to deal with life, to deal with my trauma, to deal with difficult situations at work and relationships, all of that. That's how non-dual understanding is expressing itself in the world, not in the non-dual state, which is unchanging. Oh, that's our game here. Yeah.